coming to you all today with some very heartbreaking news. Last night, the body of Jalissa Fuentes was found in rural eastern Fresno County. As you'd remember, Jalissa was a 22-year-old woman from Selma, California, and she was last seen in early August. She was last seen on video surveillance at a gas station near her home, and from there, she ended up going north towards an area that she frequented where she used to like to go to clear her head. Her phone had last pinged early that morning near the Avocado and Pine Flat Lake area. Now, there was so much speculation on what might have happened to Jalissa because after that last phone ping and that last surveillance footage, no one would ever see Jalissa or her vehicle again. They would seemingly vanish. There was no cell phone pings, no financial transactions, no social media updates, and no one had found her vehicle, which I always found so odd. It now came out earlier today that yesterday her body and vehicle were located at the bottom of a cliff. Chief Alcaraz came out and stated that Jolissa died in a single vehicle accident in the Pine Flat area. They're speculating that Jolissa had been up late and that possibly she had fallen asleep at the wheel and that's where her vehicle would end up going off the side of Trimmer Springs Road. And on top of that, Chief Alcaraz was actually the one to have found Jolissa in her vehicle. But he decided to go back to the mountains and research areas that had already been searched in that area. And he went out there just to search things over Again, to double check because he did promise her family and her father that he was going to find Jolissa for them. And it turns out that he did. Yesterday, we went back out to the Pine Flat area and were able to locate uh, evidence that Ms. Fuentes was involved in a traffic collision and uh, her vehicle went off the side of the road up off of Trimmer Springs Road. Uh, the what I would describe as the northern part of Pine Flat Lake. Um, at that time, we were able to come back and reconnect with the sheriff's office and the search and rescue team, who then went out last night till at least midnight and rappelled down a 250-foot cliff uh, to recover Ms. Fuentes. So a little bit more about the, the area. Um, that area is a good 60 miles, I would say, east of the city of Fresno. Uh, back up on Trimmer Springs Road. Uh, as you know, the Pine Flat kind of runs east and west, uh, but the rivers come in at the very east end of Pine Flat Lake, and it's right there where the uh, near Maxon Road and Trimmer Springs where the vehicle was found. And the, the chief was right. It was when we got the call, search and rescue, they used a total of 475 feet of rope to repel. Not only did they have the initial ledge that they had to repel off of, uh, but they came to another ledge at the end of that. They had to repel uh, again uh, down to where the vehicle was. You could not see it from the lake. You could not see it from the road. Uh, Chief Alcarez found what he thought was the place where the car went off. He couldn't see the car from where he was. Uh, but we did send out some drones and, and discover it in very close range with the drone able to see the vehicle. Uh, so um, very difficult terrain. Um, however, we were able to bring Jaleesa home last night. Late Monday night, search and rescue ended up propelling 250 feet down this cliff to attempt to retrieve Jalissa and her vehicle. She was far down at the bottom of this cliff. Like this was a big cliff. Of course, there is still going to be speculations and questions in this case. One thing that I would like a little clarification on is why there was apparently evidence of her vehicle returning to Selma if she is now found at the bottom of a cliff. Who made the statement? How did they get this information? Allegedly, police had evidence that her vehicle had returned back to Selma. And then on top of that, it's the question of why did she even drive up the Pine Flat Lake that early in the morning to begin with? But according to police at this time, she went off the edge and there were no other vehicles involved. However, this accident is still currently being investigated by Highway Patrol, and they're going to look into everything to see what really did cause this accident, if there was any vehicles involved, if there was foul play, and then they will probably update us to let us know like for sure if this was all just an accident, a very unfortunate accident, or if there was something more sinister in play. First, I think they do need to recover the vehicle and examine everything and go through it all, and I'm sure they can also see I by like the skin marks on the road and whatnot, like what might have happened. At the end of the day, though, my heart goes out to Jalissa's family and friends. This isn't the outcome that anyone wanted, but I'm hoping that now that Jalissa has been found, that it'll start bringing some answers and healing to the family, and they won't be in limbo anymore wondering where she is and what happened to her. And her family seemed really broken, as any family would be. During the press conference, her father actually got up and spoke, and 
it broke my heart hearing him. I literally started crying when Chief Alcaraz started consoling Joel's father. It just made it all so much more real. Yes, my name is Joey Fuentes. I'm the father of Julissa Fuentes. And first of all, I want to thank the community, not just the community, this whole nation. The cries and the war pain of my wife and my sisters and my family was heard around this whole country. They didn't stop. They were persistent. And when this first happened with my daughter, I talked to Chief Alcris. I told him, man to man, I'm talking to you. Do you have a daughter? Do you have children? He told me, yes, I do, Joey. I go, I want you to go after my daughter like she's your daughter, Chief. And you know what he told me? He goes, I promise you, Joey. I promise you. I will find your daughter. At this time, we were hearing all kinds of stories. She was kidnapped. The cartels held her. There was so much stories out there. But he promised me he was going to find my daughter. He didn't tell me. He couldn't tell me when. But he was going to find her. And he was the one that found her. He was a man of his word. And he's a young chief in the city of Salma. He says he wants to change things around here. You know, it's a small town, but he wants to make a change for the better. And I thank God he's my hero. He is my hero, you know, and I've known him for a while. But he was persistent, and his persistence paid off. Not only that, I know it was his love, and he went after her like it was hers. And once again, though, I thank all the community. I even thank the media. You kept my daughter out there. You kept her alive. We were her voice. And I'll forever love you guys for that. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This really just sucks having to bring this outcome to you all. We all hope that she was out there safe somewhere, but unfortunately that isn't the case. Of course, I'll keep you all updated if more information comes out after Highway Patrol does their investigation. But as of right now, it seems that police are saying that this was just unfortunately a very tragic accident and that there was nothing nefarious in play. However, I am still confused by this whole like vehicle sighting. Maybe it was just a false statement or something that got brought up, but I don't, I don't know. With that, please leave kind words for the family below and keep them in your thoughts today. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video with a cold case.